We are about to do some science. So good, Daisy? And it's in. <laughs> Maybe in the next few months you'll start seeing beards. When the leaves in San Kalai, I will be there every time. Let me be your high tide. Just like the water, I can rush you back every time. Let me be your high tide. Hello there, people of the internet. It is. Monday. Forgot what day it was up there for a second, but it is Monday. We are about to do some science right here at the kitchen table. I've got a rusty lock and I want to de-rustify it because I can barely get it open. We're gonna hashtag science. <laughs> oh my goodness. You didn't record any of that? No, I didn't record me actually pouring it in. So I just I just poured the lemon juice in, had the camera set up, thought I hit record, didn't. And uh, my science experiment isn't even experimenty enough. Um. Where did you hear that lemon juice? Take it off. I thought that was Coke. Coke for the acidity of it. Lemon juice, the acidity too. Maybe it just isn't bubbling like um, like Coke does because it's not carbonated. Look it up. Or um, yep. We're gonna take a look. We're gonna verify that my suspicions are in fact correct. Daisy's is outside eating her meal. It's real windy. Is that good, Daisy? Are you gonna eat, eat? She's just eating all the meat out. <laughs> you haven't seen it today, but Aerie is sitting at the big girl seat. Ay, ay, ay. It is orange. Juice. You are so helpful. We picked up something pretty much just for Daisy, but not really. We got a little separate freezer for the basement. Now they're doing the raw diet with Daisy and we're meal prepping a lot. Our freezer's been crazy full since we cook a lot at once. So I found this on offer up for 30 bucks guys and it basically looks brand new. And it's in, and we turned it on. You guys wanna see the mess that is this room? Oh my goodness, it's so bad. It's now Tuesday morning and Rev is helping me make dinner. Well, it's Tuesday afternoon, sorry. And we're making a crock pot meal, so we're getting this ready, huh? Push it down real hard. Good job. Good job. And she's not really getting it down, but here, put your hand on top of mama. Clouds. <laughs> so I totally forgot to show you guys what happened with the lock in the lemon, and it did work just fine in the lemon juice. I put the Ziploc around it just to try and keep it from getting totally soaked again and get rusty. But, um, you know, I don't know how well it's going to work. I don't remember if you guys really got to see how rusty it was. But all of this was rusty, so that all got cleaned off pretty good. And I could barely get the key in the hole to unlock it. And that's the reason why I even decided to put it in the lemon juice, because I couldn't unlock it and I can't really use it if it I can't unlock it otherwise it's gonna get stuck oh yeah it smells like lemon juice still but it worked well and the key works wonderfully in and out so mission accomplished so you may or may not hear Revlin yelling in the background and asking for fruit snacks I am ignoring her because <laughs> She's in this power struggle phase right now where she also tries to say she needs anything and everything because she doesn't want to go to bed. But she's really cranky and tired and having little mini meltdowns over everything. So she needs to sleep. And so right now we're just like at a point where we just have to ignore her. So she understands that she's not going to get what she wants. So you might hear her yelling. But we need to end the vlog. I feel like we've kind of failed at vlogging. 
the last two days. We were doing really good. It felt like we got like really be got back into it pretty good. Ryan's gonna talk about it's cold fun. showers and how great they are for the fertility of men. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we are in any way needing that at all. When he told me that, I was like, uh, we don't need that, okay? Like, <laughs> like no. <laughs> <laughs> but he was just reading about the pros of it. So I've been taking cold showers because uh, was that a what was that like two weeks ago? Was yeah. that a leadership meeting? And the speaker was talking about how if you are in a comfort zone or if you have a hard time getting out of your comfort zone, take a, start taking a cold shower every day for 30 days or something, just because it helps you in your mind get out of your comfort zone just by getting into the cold shower and taking a cold shower gets you out of your comfort zone so then it leads into the rest of your life get it, helping you to get out of your comfort zone so he was talking about that so i was looking online and found some articles about what kind of benefits they actually provide cold showers build a strong willpower mm -hmm. they improve emotional resilience do you get flustered anxious or pissed off easily cold showers can help <laughs> Um, they reduce stress, increase alertness, improve skin and hair, weight loss, increase testosterone for, for you men. Um, I mean, I obviously I don't have a lot of facial hair. I'm not real buff. I'm a little lower on the testosterone scale, I think. <laughs> um, so maybe, maybe in the next few months you'll start seeing beards coming out. <laughs> They boost fertility. I think that's just genetics, honey. Not anything to do with your testosterone. Your whole family yeah. doesn't grow <laughs> facial hair. Maybe, maybe my whole family's lacking in testosterone. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, we don't have any real buff people in my family. No, you don't. Drain your lymphatic system. Oh, does maybe, that mean that my lymph nodes won't be swollen maybe, anymore? Maybe you should start taking cold showers, sweetheart. I almost did this morning. And I turned the shower off. Like I was gonna do it like at the end, and I turned it off and got out, and I was like, oh, I forgot to get turn it cold. <laughs> Too <funny>. late now. <laughs> cold showers relieve depression. There you go. If you're struggling with depression, try it. She literally is screaming for fruit snacks. <sighs> <laughs> maybe, maybe Rev needs to take a cold shower. <laughs> She would scream <laughs> I know, and freak she, out. It would be a horror. Do any of your toddlers have like this repetition thing where they just continue to say the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, even after you tell them no? And like, they he... can't stop. That's what she does. And of course, cold showers wake you up. I don't take nearly as long showers in the morning. I used to stand in the shower for like 20 minutes just in, enjoying the hot water. But. Yesterday and today I was in there for like five minutes. <laughs> well, but we're going to end the vlog there. We hope that you enjoyed that little tidbit of information on the uh, benefits of cold showers. And we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog though, even though it was probably kind of short. I don't know, haven't edited it yet. Give it a thumbs up though if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and as always. We will see your wonderful faces on Friday. Bye. Bye.